Hey there, Mitch Wilder here. And in this video, I'm going to share how we're using paid ads on both Facebook, Instagram, Google, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, really any of the ad platforms that you're interested in using to consistently generate leads and high quality appointments. Uh, I'm going to show you how we're doing that, how we're the, the simple process that we're using uh, to generate qualified leads and appointments uh, every single day using these paid ad platforms. So I've got a simple one page document on my iPad. So let's take a look and I'm going to share that process with you. So the problem is, is that when it comes to, um, you know, funnels, offers, ads, it, it really has become too complicated, right? There's, there's, um, just so many different funnels and funnel ideas and people will take a funnel that works and they'll try to put their own twist on it. Right. And the fact is, is that we really just need to simplify online advertising is at a point where we can just ask for what we're interested in. Right. People are used to seeing ads They're They have the behavior of interacting with ads online. And so we can really just ask them for what we want. And if we want appointments uh, that are qualified and lead to sales, then we can just offer that right in the ad. Um, and so we're, this is the simple process that we use here. Um, it's a simple five-step process. And basically, here's how it works. It's broken into four parts. So the first part is what we call a value ad. And basically, all we're doing here is we're creating a, a long form ad and it educates your market on a problem uh, that they need to have solved. And what we're doing is we're using a simple ad copy formula uh, to identify the problem, agitate the problem, and then present a unique solution to that problem. So that's called a, a PAS problem agitate solve copy formula and we're writing a long copy version of that. And then at the end of that, the offer is a free strategy session or a consultation. We're, we're telling them like, hey, if you want to ask some questions, if you want to talk to a real person about how this could work for you, then go ahead and, and click the button below to schedule an appointment. So we're just telling them you're requesting an appointment. We're not like, you know, having to put a lead magnet in front of it and do all this stuff in the funnel. Like we're just telling them like opt in to request an appointment. That's basically what the offer is. It's pretty straightforward. Now, once they click on that button, um, they know that they're filling uh, in a request for a strategy session. So they're putting their information in a lead form. And on that form, we're qualifying them by asking for a decent amount of information here. We're asking for uh, typically like their name, their email, uh, their phone number, and wherever possible, we add additional qualifying questions. Sometimes we add state, city, zip code, website, uh, could be anything that is that makes sense that you would need uh, to qualify for them for this appointment. And we're trying to find a balance between uh, quality and cost per lead is what we're trying to get to. So Sometimes you'll have to add questions. Sometimes you'll have to take questions away, but we're trying to find a balance between quality and price of that lead. And then once the form is submitted, so like if you're doing this on Facebook, you could use Facebook lead forms. When we do it on Google, we use, um, we use like a landing page that just has a form on it because that works better than, than the form does on Google from the search results. But basically what we're doing is we're taking on any of the platforms, um, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, we're just trying to find a way to present the form in a way that um, we're just trying to find a way to present the form, I guess, in a way that people are used to interacting with forms or filling out forms for that platform. But the process is the same on every ad platform. And then once that form is submitted, the individual is added to our CRM for follow-up and then they're immediately redirected to our calendar. So this is really simple. We're just using Calendly in this third stage. And after they fill out that form, right, it's, it's kind of a gate to get them to book their call. They can now book their call because they filled out the form. Um, and we're using Calendly for this 
and that allows them to choose their time. And um, then after Calendly, like everybody's used to using Calendly, I think at this point it's really easy to use. But one of the key pieces to making this work is that they just filled out a form to to request or be able to get the appointment. And that got them to the calendar. That was the gate that got them to the calendar, right? But now this, this in the third step here, this is really what's key, is we're now using the questions that you can customize at the end of the calendar in Calendly to further qualify them. So sometimes we'll have as many as 15 additional questions. You want to ask questions that some of them can be the same, like name and email address and phone number as the form that they just filled out. But what we really want to do is with this particular form, we want to ask questions that's, uh, that's going to help us to help them on our strategy session. So these are, are not just qualifying questions to opt in and get access, but these are questions that we're asking um, that are really designed to... Uh, to help them so so they can see okay by answering these questions on the form um they're they're going to know more about my situation to be able to help me on this call that i just requested so that's really important is is there some of the questions can be the same but they're they can see that they are for a different purpose right um, and these further qualify that lead because now they've answered you know, maybe somewhere around 15 to 20 questions uh, before they actually submit and get that appointment. Now, one of the things that we found is that if we just leave the situation to, you know, they they filled out the form, they're now in our CRM, uh, and and then you know they're um, they book an appointment or they don't. What we typically saw is like anywhere from five to 10 percent of people that opted in because it was a long opt-in form, uh, only about 10 to 15% of the people uh, actually, you know, booked an appointment right from the form, which is kind of weird. But what we found is that this fourth stage is critical to making this work. So in the fourth stage, we're following up with everybody who filled out the form to request the consultation, but didn't complete the scheduling process. So what we're doing is we're using an automated uh email. And then what's really, really key is also an automated text message to remind them, hey, you you had requested this strategy session. You were interested in this um, in the strategy session or this free consultation to get your questions answered, but you didn't finish the scheduling process. And we're sending them back to that calendar page where they can book their appointment. And then what we do is we, we do this follow up for like two to three days after uh, they opted in. And uh, we found that this really improves the conversion rate. This is like a linchpin that makes this whole thing work. And so what we see is that when we do, when we use this process, when we um, do this follow-up, we go from like five to 10% of people that opted in booking to between like 15 and 30% of people booking. And it just depends on the industry and how desirable a consultation is in that industry but it, it's a huge bump in conversion. And it's really one of the key pieces to make this work. And then finally, you know, once they've booked that appointment, you just have your call. And what we do is a lot of times through this process, we found that people were having trouble getting people to show up to the call. So what we did is 30 minutes before the call, we send a personalized uh, text reminder message to remind them, hey, you had scheduled this call. Now, People are like, well, can't Active Campaign or Infusionsoft or uh, even Calendly do that automatically for you? And, th and they can. And we're also using those processes. But it's a really key piece we found to actually the person who's going to be calling them to send them a text message from the number that's going to be calling them so that it's in their in their phone. It's not foreign. Um and it reminds them and gives them enough time like, oh, hey, I wanted to be on that call. I got to make myself available and get myself together here in 30 minutes. It's a critical part to getting people to show up to the call. And then for the time that they scheduled, just call the prospect exactly at the time they scheduled for. Like if they scheduled for 4 p.m. Eastern, like don't call them at 4.02 or 4.03. Call them exactly on time. 
and have the the phone up and have um you know have your phone like ready so that when it changes to the time you hit send right and you and you dial that number and then when you're on that call like don't be trying to pitch them and don't be trying to sell them um take the time on the call to get to know them and know their circumstances and truly identify if your products or services or solution is actually going to be a good fit for them and if it can actually help them. Don't sell people things that they don't need. Don't pressure people. That makes it harder for everybody. Just be straightforward and see what you can actually do uh, to help them, right? And and learn about them. What matters is them. What's important is them. And the only thing that matters is how your products or services can help them. And if they can't, then just tell them. And Finally, um, you know, depending on the cost of your products or services, like if you're selling something super high ticket, what you might find is that, you know, based on that price or based on the level of commitment that you're asking for, you may need to schedule a second or a third call to end up, you know, closing that if it is a good fit for them. And so uh, if that's the case, that's fine. But a lot of times that's determined by the price or the level of commitment that's needed for them to get into this. So this is the five-step process that we're using for all paid ad platforms. Um, It's simple. It's straightforward. um, It's not complicated. The funnel is easy to build. The follow-up is easy to build. It gets very qualified leads, appointments, and generates uh, sales of all kind, particularly high-ticket sales. And so if you need any help, we've encountered some pitfalls that we've had to overcome and you want us to help you to get through those, click the button below this video to schedule an appointment with me and see how I can help you set up this process in your business or uh, if there's another process that would work better for you using paid ads, 